Edgar Beagley. Hey there, it's Gerbigli, and today I'm playing a game that's simply titled Coffee Rope over here on lag.com. Apparently this is a puzzle game where I have to drop a cup of coffee into a cup of coffee from what I can see here. Not 100% sure, but we're going to find out here together, so let's jump on in. <laughs> this game looks really interesting. I think that, like, it's a takeout cup that I'm dumping into a regular porcelain coffee cup. Cut this pack. Hmm cut this pack is it like supposed to be like a k-cup pack all right i that is not normally how i pour myself coffee i normally don't suspend a uh like 7-eleven cup of coffee over the top of another cup and then just let it pour into it but yeah hey do what you gotta do to make your morning routine super fun all right so uh tap to rotate okay oh i've seen this type of mechanic in in similar games so i think if i do this there we go Huh? I guess I didn't do it right because it said that I guess I did I spill too much coffee? I guess so. Well, I'm not trying to cut that. So maybe do maybe less of a steep angle with this one. And then this one steep. Also, I noticed that the the top of the coffee, the like takeout cup comes off. That's going to like I'm polluting. I'm being a terrible person cuz I'm polluting. I don't even care that I poured myself a nice morning cup of coffee I'm polluting the environment or at the very least I'm putting that into my cup and that's probably not gonna be fun to drink this is we got the double coffee cups okay there we go it would be kind of fun if coffee packets like pre-made coffee were in like takeout style cups that'd be fun okay now we got a big old jug of milk hanging up over a spike uh, not sure exactly what's going on with this but I'm assuming I have to break this jug on the spike and then it will spill milk into the coffee cup. All right, we can give that a try. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, apparently, there's already coffee in there. Either that or that milk curdled immediately in that cup because it definitely changed color. Also, I feel like you'd probably get like shards of glass in your mouth, which wouldn't be great. I don't know. I'm lactose intolerant. What do I know? <laughs> All right, we got more of this. Would you like some coffee with your giant tub of milk? Okay. Oh, I'm actually so silly. <laughs> so I just, I guess I just dumped an entire thing of milk down the drain. When in reality, okay, this is supposed to break it. We get our little glass shards in our cup. Immediately fills up the cup. All right, cool. And again, somehow our milk turns into a bunch of coffee as well. Very milky coffee. This one, should we be able to get away with this? I think so. There we go. Yeah, nice. Okay, or not. I like that I was so confidently going, yeah. And then it did not work out at all. That was actually great. Okay, so maybe do these one at a time because it's being a silly billy to me. All right, there we go. And then, oops, okay, little piece of rope. Mmm, tasty. Some delicious flavor from my coffee. That's right, I don't cut the rope itself. I cut the coffee cup to pour into the other coffee cup. Got it, okay. I'm getting better at my job. Man, I would not make it as a modern-day barista. That's all I got to tell you guys. All right, so coffee down the hatch immediately into the cup honestly that was that was pretty iconic of me all right and then this one i think can we yeah barely made it but we made it okay i don't think i've ever celebrated getting a bunch of glass into a coffee cup quite that much before in my life this one's actually kind of fun looking okay we just fill up this reservoir with coffee and then Hope, okay, <laughs> all right, maybe do it one at a time <laughs> because that just really spilled. That was a huge waste of coffee. Okay, there we go, that is one. And then this one should overflow just a little, but a lot of it will get into the cup. Okay, I'm learning. Oh, it only took two. I'm, I'm missing the third guy here. That is such a waste of coffee. We just have this like reservoir sitting there full of like the leftover coffee. Meanwhile, We've only poured ourselves one cup. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Okay, let's try this one at a time because the liquid does sort of like react to other 
forms of liquid so we obviously don't want this to like overflow and cause us to lose okay level nine done all right moving on to double digits and someone just wants pure milk just a big old cup of milk so again as someone who's lactose intolerant if this wastes a bunch of milk i'm not too worried about it that's one less enemy i have in this world all right and immediately losing i guess that's probably just karma I'm sorry for what I said to you, Milk. I actually hope that you live a nice, fruitful, and long life. All right, maybe try these ones on the side first. Maybe we won't even need the middle one. Maybe that's like a red herring situation because so much of it spilled when I tried to do that. Yeah, okay, we don't even need that third one. Oh, I accidentally restarted the level. I don't know how I did that. Well, I'll just do this. Yeah, there we go. Easy win easy win moving on to level 11 even though I, I mean it wasn't like that one was hard okay so let's do this i think no oh it got stuck wait hold up no milk no <laughs> operation save milk went horribly wrong we had a huge casualty it was an entire jug of milk oh gosh i'm so wasteful okay let's uh let's try this a different way make sure that i think it will this way work this time okay yeah it does all right and then then do that okay i see how it is let's leave this glass stuck there in the meantime make it do that maybe yeah that should be plenty of coffee and then the leftover stuff can just go zero gravity and float off into space apparently that's fun okay you guys know how it is once you have your morning cup of coffee once you pour that, once you smell that, had a couple sips of that, everything around you feels like it's floating. So it kind of is on theme. All right, now we have a sugar packet that's like swinging around like a little wormy guy. I don't know what's going on with that. Or I guess sugar cube. Okay. And again, I don't know how that one thing of sugar turned into an entire thing of coffee, but I'm not going to question it. However, you have to get your coffee. You know, I get it. I do understand how that is. All right, let's get as much of that in there as we can. Oh, we still failed. Okay. All right. Maybe try it with the sugar first. Maybe that will fill it up. Oh, okay. Uh, wasn't an immediate fail, though, so that's good. All right, that one made it in. And then maybe do this. I'm not 100% sure here. We'll try to test it out. I think I, I, yeah, I was going to say, I think I spilled way too much. Man, this is kind of a hard puzzle game for something when it's got this, it's got this nice snappy jazz in the background that just like gives you a false sense of security. And then you try some of these puzzles and you lose immediately. Man, oh man, I feel very gaslit right now. Uh, also, this is level 13. This is my lucky number. I should be doing better than I am with this. Okay, so let's hope that, was it this way that allowed me to get in there? Yes, okay, good. So flatten those guys out. All right, I don't know what I'm doing at all, apparently. The game is trying to remind me that it's in control. I'm not. Oh, boy. All right, is that enough coffee at least? One sugar, not two sugar for you, whoever you may be, customer. Can you imagine if they actually serve coffee this way, if everything was like a Rube Goldberg machine? Like, all right, sure, we'll get your coffee ready. It's going to take an extra, like, 30 seconds as we, like, watch liquid trickle down this, like, elaborate ramp system that we set up. <laughs> but, hey... You know what? You ask for service, you ask for quality, you ask for entertainment all in one, and you're gonna get it, right? <laughs> all right, at least that one was nice and easy. It made me regain a little bit of my honor there. All right, drop that coffee in there right away. Oh my gosh, we don't even need to add the milk. Come on, get out of here, milk. Don't even need you. We got some lactose intolerance rep here going on, saying no milk necessary. All right, drop some coffee into the milk and glass mixture we have there. Mmm, delicious. I see it blending together. That's kind of a cool effect. All right. And then push a little bit of each, I guess, into that steaming hot cup of joe there. Love my coffee with that gritty sensation of very sharp, pointy, not edible glass substance. Okay. So, spill. Well, first, let's maybe fix the ramps, me. Let's do this first. 
Make sure that this coffee can make it to its destination properly. Is that going to do it? I hope that does it. We'll find out here in a second. All right. It's overflowing. It's spitting the coffee out. Are we getting there? We got there. Level 17, one and done. Okay. This one, we have to have good timing because these ropes are making these milk jugs move all silly. All right. And... It's kind of cool, the physics in this game, how everything can bump into each other. And, like, even the coffee lids, I noticed, will sometimes bump into each other and cause you uh, not to get as many coffee droplets in as you were hoping to. This one's going to be tough. I think this one is... Some of these are red herrings, and not all of them have to go in. Or I'm totally wrong, and we have to actually get a four in? Oh, my God. All right, I hope this one works. Please. Oh, no. No, it's going to rotate to the right. No, <laughs> I can't do it. All right. Uh, I guess maybe try this one first. Let's do that. Oh, my gosh. The physics. The physics champion. All right. That one should just bounce right in. There we go. I like that the cup reacts when <laughs> the string falls near it as well. Oh, my gosh. This one's tough. Okay, I think 19's the one that stumps me. It's definitely, I think there's like a little bit of timing, a tiny bit of RNG and luck that goes into this game. But overall, you can sort of see how the solutions are supposed to be. This game was extra fun. I enjoyed it. It was really relaxing despite the hidden challenge that was in this. I had a blast with it. I also like cutting these ropes. That's just fun to do. It's like any physics-based game where I get to play around and destroy things. Come on. Anyway, I'm out of time. I can't keep you guys here much longer. So I'm going to get going. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me spill hot coffee all over the place and hopefully you didn't get burned if you did enjoy it please 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 check this game out over here on lag.com and as always it was great seeing ya bye bye